Hey there, Acolyte. Hold on a moment. Let me get a look at you. Hmm, so you're Overseer Tremel's secret weapon. Impressive, to be sure. Afraid the old man waited too long to make his move, though. I'm Vemrin, and unlike you, I've fought and bled for everything I have. I demand respect. This is a big place, Vemrin. There's more than enough room here for both of us. I'm glad to hear you say that. There's plenty of room for you, behind me. If Overseer Tremel had made his move a year ago when I first arrived, you might have had a chance. But now, too little, too late. This is ridiculous, Vemrin. Let's just kill him and hide the body. We're not on Balmora anymore, Dorgus. There are rules, traditions. We'll leave the shortcuts to Overseer Tremel and his last pathetic hope here. I'm going to take what's yours, and then I'm going to kill you. You have no idea the enemy you're making. Coming, Dorgus? Be right there, Vemrin. Listen to me, you useless priss. Acolytes aren't allowed to murder each other. But accidents happen. It isn't murder without witnesses. No more warnings. Vemrin's the alpha monster here. You go after Vemrin, you die. Good. You've returned. You seem to be in one piece. Tell me, how do you like your new blade? Take a look. I've already blooded it. What are you doing, Father? I only just got my wall blade and I've been here six months. I have my reasons, Escala. And you will not breathe a word of this to anyone. Do you hear? Yes. Yes, Father. Acolyte, this is Escola, my daughter. She's one of the advanced students here, on her way to becoming Sith, if she minds herself. I'll keep quiet about your new charge, Father, but I won't be there if whatever you're planning blows up in your face. Don't mind her, she's just sore that I'm keeping secrets. She growls, but she's loyal. Now, I thought I heard Vemrin's voice in the adjacent chamber before you arrived. Did he make his move so soon? Yeah, I hate him already. I look forward to ending his miserable existence. If things go well, you will have that satisfaction someday. Still, I'd hoped we'd have more time. Vemrin's not the type to sniff around for too long before trying to take a bite. In a drive for sheer numbers, the criteria for Academy admittance has been relaxed. Now anyone with false sensitivity is allowed entrance. Vemrin is mixed blood, the invisible rot eating at the foundation of the Empire. He must not be allowed to advance. So stop him yourself. Unfortunately, Vemrin's caught the eye of Darth Barris, one of the most influential Sith Lords. He's being groomed to be Barriss's new apprentice. As Darth Barriss's apprentice, the power at Vemrin's fingertips will be considerable. He could change the Sith for the worse. You must proceed to your next trial immediately. I want you to interrogate three prisoners in the Academy jails and decide their fates. Consider each criminal's story carefully. The decisions you make will be scrutinized, so let your passions guide your judgments. You'd better send someone to clean up after me. The slave pens are right there. They have mobs. Go to the academy prison. Speak to head jailer Nash and return to me after you've passed judgment on the prisoners.
One more chirp from you, little bird, and you'll regret it. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Ow, jerk. If you don't like that, just say so. I can do other animals, too. Dire cat, frog dog, waking monkey lizard, you name it. You, I'm Jayla Nash. I run these cells in slave pits. You're the acolyte Tremel sent for the test, right? <laughs> he thinks highly of you. Let's cut to the chase. No skin off my rump. Now, these three prisoners are being transferred here for your inspection. You gotta interrogate them as needed, and then decide their fate. The convicted are usually executed, or given a trial by combat to see if they're worthy. Whatever you decide, you will be the one to carry out the sentence. I was hoping this would keep me entertained. Ah, fine. Let's get started. This one on the left. You freaks aren't getting anything new out of me. Just do whatever you're gonna do. Let me make this plain as day. If you don't cooperate, I will kill you. I'm not afraid to die. Impudent to the last. As I was saying, she was sent to kill an Imperial spy in the Yavin system. Throughout her torture, she maintained that she was hired anonymously. Get it through your damn head! I had no idea he was Imperial, and I don't know who hired me! Regale me with the details of your operation. What was your chosen form of murder? I didn't kill him. I was caught before I could pull it off. The point is, she doesn't deny the charge. So now you must decide. Execution or trial by combat. Which do you choose? She deserves to die. I'll kill her where she stands. Be my guest. Just get it over with. She faced her death well. I spit on her remains. Please, I am a fellow Sith. Spare me the assassin's ignoble fate. Grant me a trial by combat, I beg you. Your name, now. This part of waste is Devotech. Once a valued Sith champion, until he botched an important mission and caused a thousand Imperial deaths. Now look at him. I served faithfully for 24 years. Then one mistake, and they threw me away. Now I have been left here to rot. Please, let me feel the weight of a weapon once more. I will grant your wish. A warrior should die with his boots on. My thanks, young warrior. Uh, this should be entertaining. Much of a fight, did he? He died a warrior. Ah, well, this last prisoner's a bit of a puzzle. He's called Brig, and he's a jittery little wretch, suspected of supplying forged documents to Republic agents. Strangely enough, he maintains his innocence, despite being severely tortured. Nebaga imana, naki naya. Are you trying to tell me you've led a clean life? Naki Oya Makmak. Nebaga Imana. Naki Naya. Bila Magnam Unya Kamnalebik. Ah, he's never wavered from that line. And the evidence is circumstantial. I suppose it's actually possible he didn't do it. So. What do you decide? I don't care if he's innocent or not. Torture him enough and he'll confess. <laughs> uh, 
Je pan kam. Panu pana kam mem ka kripom. Shut up, you fidgety fool. The decision's been made. Ah, <sighs> well that's that. You're an interesting one, kid. I can see why people are keeping tabs on you. Head back to Overseer Trammel. See what he thinks of your choices. Not you, not yet. You are not ready for my test. Is this everything? Everything Lord Renning was able to attain, yes. Then run back to your master in the beast pens before I cut you in half. Sorry to make you wait, Acolyte. These interruptions are incredibly annoying. On to the business at hand, your test in the jails. First, the assassin, Solentz. She attempted to kill an Imperial spy, but was unaware of her client's affiliation. You killed her in cold blood. Why? She failed her assignment. I do not abide failures. No, but you can always turn someone's failure into personal profit. Never waste a potential resource. A trained assassin who demonstrated fortitude and amorality? The Empire could have utilized her skills. Now, Devotech, the failed warrior, why grant his wish for a trial by combat? I needed to discover for certain that he was no longer useful. That holds some merit, but it should have been obvious he was far past any use. Devotech was an utter waste of space. Once something is no longer useful, it should be eradicated. Remember that. Lastly, the forger you sent back for more torture even though he seemed innocent. A strong decision. Leave no stone unturned. The ripple from even a tiny stone can flow a great distance. Wow, wow. Look who just turned deep and insightful. It's always best to know beyond any doubt. After all, what is one man's sanity or life versus the fate of the Empire? You're beginning to understand what it means to be Sith, but you're far from being able to impress Darth Barris. I'll try harder, Overseer. I promise. If you don't, you're doomed. Remember that. Because I forced you into the Academy ahead of schedule, Darth Barris will be predisposed to judging you severely. And by severely, I mean fatally. Now, we must hurry to your next trial. Every moment that passes, we risk discovery before we're ready.
in the caverns of Mark Aragnos, is the beast he left to guard his legacy. Go there, sit among the flames, and wait for the beast to come for you. Sounds like a good opportunity for violence. Hold nothing back. This creature is doom itself. Return to the Valley of the Dark Lords and find the tomb of Marka Ragnos. I'll see you when the beast is slain. Good luck. You are little more than a child, but you will grow quickly on this world. Be gone for now. strong, but you could be stronger. We can speak another time. The slaves require my attention. You don't belong on this floor.
Sorry, I'll get to you as soon as I can. I'm trying to solve a supply problem. Please use all the products only as intended. Far too much to do to chat now.
Please use all products only as intended. Oh, oh. 